Okay, can everybody hear me? Um, I John is saying you bought Netflix stock and made another thirty two hundred and you still have thirteen hundred shares. Are you in the option in Netflix or are you talking about do you actually own the stock or you did both? Sue is saying we're close on the numbers. Well, that's a positive. <laughs> that's a good sign. <laughs> you bought the outright stock. Okay, fine. It's expensive, though. Listen, I, John, said earlier, and some of you weren't here and some of you were, about he didn't want to tell me about the money he made on Netflix. He didn't want to brag. Listen, don't ever think you're bragging telling me about money you made. Why would you, why would you think that? That's so silly. Okay, I'm very proud of you, I, John, for making that money. I'm proud of you for doing the class. I'm proud of all of you that are doing well. Don't ever think that you're bragging. It really does help, first of all, people that are in the room that need encouragement that are new. And second of all, it helps uh, people that have not done the class make up their mind about taking the class and learning something. And there is a lot of different things out there. And, and, and you don't know until you actually do the class of the income trade with me. And I don't let people in the room until they do the class. So you don't really know. You don't really know until you do the class and you're in here and you're doing it. So it helps people. But don't ever think you're bragging. I think you're being confident. I think that's amazing. And I think that it's great. Okay. I want to hear more of that stuff from people. Don't secretly make millions of dollars and not tell me. <laughs> All right, I want to hear the good stuff. I think that's fantastic, all right? And you're, you actually, I think only did the class, I don't even remember when you did the class, but not that long ago. You're in the money on the target option at $65 for tomorrow. We'll go look at that then later too. There's no greater satisfaction for a teacher than to hear their students are successful. Exactly. And this is kind of, it's, it's kind of a weird thing to think of myself as a teacher because my sister actually is a teacher. My sister is a second grade teacher. She teaches little tiny kids. And it is kind of like you're a parent when you're teaching kids that young. You're a half parent during the day when you're teaching them and you're a half teacher. But, you know, teaching adults is very, very different. And, and I don't teach you all day long. We're only here for two hours and, you know, just the one class. But it's it, it, it's not something that I ever thought I would do with my life. I never thought I'd be teaching people, but it really is like I'm a teacher. As you know, since Philip's been here for the last four days, I'm realizing this that I'm teaching him. I'm realizing that I, I guess I am a teacher. I guess I am. I guess that's really is what I am. Okay, looks like everybody's getting in. I know there was an issue with Hotcom this morning. We all got booted. I think we're gonna hang on four minutes before the open. If you if we lose connection because of the storm, then you could try to sign back in, but it's up in the air. Massachusetts is getting snow. That's where they're located. There's snow here in New York. There's a big storm all across the Northeast. If you get booted, I get booted too. I will go over Target and Qcom when we're done. Let's focus here on cream. I did read the others. They weren't that great. I'm telling you right now, a lot of people will not make it into work today, wherever they are. Um, the market could have very low volume and probably will not go much of anywhere. If this was a normal day without a storm, I'd say the market might blow higher, follow through over 230 in the SPY and just keep going. But based on the, but where we are today with people trying to get into work and late and maybe not coming into work and working from home, I don't think the market gets the volume of volatility to do it today. So probably a small range bar today. Don't expect to sell off. I don't really think we go higher right here exactly. We could pop tomorrow once everything's cleared and people are back to work. We probably have some data out reporting in the morning. So look for a neutral day here in the market, neutral slash bullish. The other ones I looked at, I wasn't crazy about. Twitter probably works, but not right away. You could do it on a 15 minute chart. That's not my thing. The QLYS uh, is, I'm not crazy about it. I'm not crazy about it, rated it, didn't get didn't get what I think it should get. I think it should be down more, but it's not, and it's not there now either. Also very spready, and volume isn't what it should be. This was on earnings. RBT, IRBT, we didn't end up reading. We forgot that one. We forgot to do it. I'm not crazy about it either, but this could drop. I know it looks similar to the one from yesterday, but it's not going to be ACAM. It looks almost like the exact same chart pattern, but it's not. 
I just, I'm just not crazy about it here. Um, this is a little wild to trade and will be spreading even with the volume on the live day. We've traded this before. It's been a long time, but I'm not crazy about it. You can watch it if you want. I think the thing to do today is Cree or nothing, if you want me to be honest with you. And I just told Philip the indicator today is going to be what? This is not an earnings gap, but it does rate good, and I do like the chart. If the volume comes in here, boom. If the volume does not come in, it may not do what it's supposed to do. And to be honest with you, the target is 13 cents away. The target's 26. 25, 20, 50, $26. So don't expect a massive move in this today because it's not on earnings. I'm not 100% that anything is going to set up right today. And I don't want people to not do well when everyone's been doing well. So there's no reason to do anything today if this doesn't set up. I will flip and go look at the other things. This is the only thing that rates good enough to do. Okay? And these days when your internet's uh, sketchy because of the weather, it's also nothing to consider. I'm not having a problem today, but Hong Kong is. So let's just watch this. Let's be very relaxed today. Things have been going so well, there's no reason to get nuts. And like I said, I think the volume in the market will be low today because people aren't going to be able to get into the work. People are going to choose not to go into work. The snow just started. When they're calling a foot of snow, you, you don't go into work, go on the roads, and then leave at 5 o'clock, and you're stuck in a, in a blizzard. You know, I'm, I'm sure all the schools have just closed just because of the forecast. Let's just watch this. Right now it has a 30. I think this is... Normally, the stock would be 30, 35 cents, but based right now on the spread, the stock could be 50, 60 cents, and then if the target's 40 cents away, does that really make any sense? Here we go. Here, let's pay attention. You want to buy hotel stocks? Why? See, low in here is 26 cents. So here, here, just, 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 just. Don't do anything yet, people. It is getting some volume in here. Let's see. Hmm. No one should be in this yet. For those of you that like to jump in trades right away, don't do it. Okay, I'm not going to call a one minute low on this. Just wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying it doesn't set up doing something else, but I'm not going to call a one minute low on this. Here, it is a little spready, 11 cents. I don't know if this is going to set up, people. 26.05, it just bounced up. But let's look at it. No one should be in this. And I didn't call a trade and haven't done a thing and just looking and watching, and no one should be in this yet. Here, I'll flip and look at the other things. Let's look at Twitter. Twitter is probably going to work, but be hard. This one is still low volume. This one is volume and is wow. Look at the spread on this IRBT. Okay, I haven't called anything. No one should be doing anything. Everyone should be relaxed. Okay, let Cree break. I did not call an entry in this. Let it break. Let it break. Here's the plan of action in this. If you do anything in this today, let it break 26 and see if it bounces back. If it doesn't, if it, if it breaks 26 and bounces back and sets up, I'm going to call it. If it doesn't do that, we're not doing anything with this at all. It does have the volume here now, finally. But I, let's wait for the confirmation on this because of the reason, because of the lack of volume, because of the snow. See, look, no one should be in this yet.
There may not be anything to do today, people, and no one, no one should care. Everyone in here has been doing well. So just relax. We're just going to sit here and watch this. It's only 9.33. I just don't like the spread in this 15 cents. Okay, this didn't even, nothing is set up. Actually, everything looks really slow. Look, here's the market. The market will go nowhere today because of, because of what's going on with the weather. Just let me watch some things here, people. I'm not saying there's not going to be anything to do, but I'm saying I don't see anything right now. Twitter looks like it might be trying to go, but not yet. I'll go back to that. We'll see if Twitter sets up in a five minute. And Cree is not doing what I wanted it to do. It's just because it's no volume, I think. 02, 41. Nope, I don't, I, I don't like anything here. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. I look at anything you want me to look at. I wanted to see this trade out and get some significant volume here to sell off. It touched on the first target, which was 26, and it's bouncing. It didn't break it. It's 9.35 almost. Twitter looks like it's going to go, which I did tell you, even though it didn't get the rating. But this really hasn't set up yet. Here, we can watch Twitter and see if it sets up, but it hasn't really yet. I, you know, I've made no calls. Look at this here. I told you, no one should be in anything. Don't get suckered in like a sucker. KO. The worst thing is to get suckered in a low volume. Why do you want to buy hotel stocks? Because of the snow? KO. Uh, I didn't even see this this morning. Did this just open and fall out of the sky? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Somebody tell me the reason for this. I didn't even see this at all this morning. KO? KO looks like it was gapping up. I guess that's why I didn't see it. <laughs> it was gapping up. Then it actually opened as a gap down. Earnings? It's an earnings? It's a forecasting drop. Oh, no, I didn't even see this. Did anyone see this? Because no one wrote it in the room. I would have rated it. Ongoing franchise and drops. Did anyone see this before the market opened? Because I didn't. I kept asking everybody, did you see anything? Besides the three I rated. It's already going. Let me just look here. No, this isn't This isn't swishing, but it's, it, it is working. No one saw it. That's well then. Here, this this is this didn't swoosh, but it actually is dropping. It's the only thing I see that has volume that set up that dropped. But if none of us saw it and rated it, how could we have done it? We can watch this. If this pushes back, it still has room to go. This will go to forty bucks today. Let's just see if this no crease off. Don't do it. Ay 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 ay. No one should be in anything yet unless you got the KO, and I don't know how you would have. I don't know how you would have by some magical thing because no one even wrote it. All right, we can watch this. Here, let's just look at it. Well, the, OV1, this this actually is working, except for we didn't we didn't do it. We didn't do it because nobody saw it. And if this just sells off and goes right to the target, we, we won't be able to do anything. Here, look. Wow. All right, everything that we've discussed this morning is off. Cree flipped. Twitter really isn't doing anything right yet. KO, I did not raid. I didn't see the gap. Neither did any of you. It did open and fall out of the sky, and it just fell quite a lot. From the open here at 41.50, it, it did. Wow, this dropped almost a buck. But we didn't get that trade in there, that entry, because nobody was watching it. And it's not doing any kind of bounce here. So let's just look at the market. Market's going to try to go higher, but it's going to be slow going. I really don't think it makes a big move today without volume. This is not a lot of volume here for the market into the open. 
Twitter is a good swing trade. Twitter is a, I, I, I wouldn't day trade this today, but Twitter is lower. Twitter is a good swing trade. Twitter is lower. I've been saying that for months. Well, this isn't stopping. Let's just watch KO. VSTO, I'll look at it, but honestly, and everything we rated this morning, nothing set up. I said I wasn't crazy about anything, and that was right. Um, KO, nobody saw the gap, but we can go back and watch it. Uh, no, this doesn't look right either in here, OB1. Uh, MTRX, not enough volume, but I'll look at it. No, not enough volume. This 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 worked, people, but none of us saw the gap. Let's just let's just watch here. If this had set up and we had done it, this did actually even have the volume into the open. That's kind of a bummer. It was gapping up. I'll just put this up because there's nothing to do now. You got to let this bounce. It actually gapped up. It gapped up this morning. That's why none of us saw it. SNCR. If KO pushes back and sets up before 10 o'clock, I'll call it. But if it doesn't, then there's nothing to do. Nothing else set up. And Twitter is going to flip around. Break, push back, break, push back, break, push back. It wasn't a great gap. SNCR, no. IP? This is volume, but I didn't see a gap in this. Did this gap, Koala Bear? We're only doing gaps. No, this did not gap. It's falling. It must have come up in your scanner, but this didn't gap down. Yep, Cree bounced off 26. We can go over this when we're done. Twitter, Twitter's starting to go. And this is just going to be so back and forth. See how this drop, broke, push back. Drop, broke, push back. It's going to push back again. I don't think this really breaks. I think this is a good swing trade. I think Twitter is a good swing trade. Let's go back to KO. Okay. I'm going to sit here and watch this. I'm eyeballing it to call it because it did break. It's falling. It fell a dollar right here into the open. It gapped up, so no one got it on their scanners. There's nothing we can do, and nothing else set up right. And Twitter looks like it's falling, but the entry for the target is not enough risk to reward, and I think it's going to push back. It's going to drop, push back, drop, push back, drop, push back. It's not going to really have a smooth move. This is a nice smooth move. It's just too bad we didn't get it right away. Big fudge scalp Twitter. That's the only thing you can do with it. You're going to be up and down and up and down and up and down in that. You'd almost have to take it and put the stop over the high. Here, KO. Where did this happen? That's very interesting. None of us saw it. That's kind of a bummer. Here, KO. There's no entry in here, people. Here, let's just go over because I don't know if it, it's going to set up or not. This is where you would have done it. And we would have had to rate it before the open and watch it before the open and do it. And absolutely none of us saw it. It gapped up and then it flipped. And so this was the entry and it's not giving anything at all now. So if it doesn't, if it doesn't set up right, then we can't do it. Here was the entry right in here. And it actually was not half bad of a stop. Considering the stock at the price point here, you could have shorted it right here, 41.41. I would have given this a cushion. No matter what, I would have given it like 41.80, but still that's 40 cents and it just fell. And you know, I'm not calling kamikaze trades in this because we didn't we didn't rate it. And really you shouldn't do anything you didn't rate, but I'm seeing it work. I mean, it's clearly the only thing selling off today. And the amount of volume in this is actually more than the market. Almost 4 million. You don't even have half that in the queues. And you'll have just about that in the overall spiders. So, you know, this is, you know, you could, you could have played this today, but none of us got it. And you would have had to short it at 9.31. So let's just wait and see if it sets up right. If you scout the Twitter, that's exactly what I would have done with it, and I wouldn't have done anything different, although I wouldn't have done it because we've been doing so well. So why make yourself crazy? Uh, K.O. Did anybody else do anything besides Big Foot? She's the only one that looks like that did anything so far. In fact, if this pushes back, this is where this should hold, 41. Boom. 
So if this pushes back and holds resistance at 41 and drops and breaks, here's the target, 40, 50. Let's watch it. If it goes over 41, which is actually, you see this bar here pushed back, it went poop, 4103. If this goes up here and we test it and holds, it's going to be valid for a normal trade. If this pushes over this, it's going to look kind of crappy. But I'm not saying if it does it. I don't know. Let's watch it. It's still only 943. I'll look at other things. I'm not jumping the gun on something we didn't rate. Things have been going so well. You added to Netflix? I, John, is trading nothing but Netflix for the rest of his life. <laughs> uh, he's just going to keep buying the stock and pushing it up on his own. Um, Sue did Twitter. Here, look. Oh, my Manta. Here, I did say, what did I say this morning when we went downstairs and we had the coffee? Or what did I say when we were talking? I said, what did I say exactly? You remember, we're sitting, standing in front of the coffee thing, and I said, well, I talked about Twitter. And what did I say? It was my exact words. I wasn't even looking at the chart. It took two seconds. I looked at the chart. And what did I say? We're standing in front of the coffee machine. I don't remember. Oh, about the snow. <laughs> you're supposed about, to remember about everything. About I, I know. No, what did I say about Twitter? We were making the coffee at the coffee machine, and I said, boom, if I was oh, alone today. Oh, it's a play. Yes. 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 In the five minutes. No, I said exactly. If I was alone today and didn't run a trading room and got up in the morning and looked at Twitter, I wouldn't do it because it's probably going to work, but it's going to be a late play, and that's not yes. what I like to do, and it yes. doesn't rate good. You did. You did. <laughs> I know you do remember. I know. Uh, KO is continuing to drop. How can I talk so fast? Yes, boy. Can you talk fast? What I would like, because my brain works fast. I would like to actually communicate to you without having to speak. As fast as my brain works, I would like to telepathically communicate to all of you, and that would be at the speed of light. My brain could telepathically communicate to you that I wouldn't have to speak. And then you would get the information faster. <laughs> you people are laughing. Phil's been here for four days with me trading. He's up money, but because he's up about ten thousand dollars in four days, he's whining like a baby because he got out of Netflix and it went to the target. How about he whining? Yes, yesterday you were I whining. I think I was whining. Well, I, I, you were whining this morning when we looked at Netflix at 145, that oh, you were already I out of it. I made a point. I made a point. I wouldn't say whining. You got in at 144. I, John, is continuing to buy it. If I let Philip go back to his hotel right now, he's going to secretly, sneakily buy it. <laughs> <laughs> then it'll drop to zero. Oh, all right, let's go back to KO. Let's be serious. Freddie wants to talk fast also. What brain vitamins do I use? Uh, email me, I'll tell you. Philip bought them. He said they didn't work. I don't know, but I've been using them for years. NVIDIA, I'll look at that. So a couple of your scalp Twitter, which is fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go look at that, but I'm still, I'm still watching the KO. Again, if it rallies to 41, it's good. Um, but right now, it just keeps selling off. I don't know what you're doing, Navinia. This is, you know, if you're just in this as a swing trade, it's it's higher, yes. You know, it's it didn't do any gap today. I don't know where you got in this, I, John. Let's go back to the KO. Here, let's see if this holds 41. Is everybody paying attention? This might actually set up. 4072, 4072, Well, you see what this did? This bounced off this area. But I think it's falling out of the sky, and it's too early. I think it still keeps going. But let's watch. Here, let's see if it holds 41. Your, NVIDIA is your go-to stock. All right. You don't have any positions right now. All right. Fit. Koala Bear, let's just watch this KO and see if it holds 41, because if it does, it will go back down and break the low and actually go and get to 40.50. If you want to do anything today, I may call this. It's not 100%. It's got to hold 41. Pay attention, it's 9.47. Let's see. Mac, let's look at this here. Something here. Now, 
Nope, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't, I can't call it. Nope, don't do it. Nope, nope, nope. It's going to keep going a little bit more of a bounce up here. Nope, nope, nope. The, the hair, let's just go over it. <clears throat> so this fell out of the sky. This was the trade, but we didn't watch it because we didn't read it and we didn't even see the gap. So it dropped and dropped and dropped. This was a first target in here. The next target is a bigger target. Could it go there? Yes. Do I think it's going to go there right now? No. Why? I wanted it to hold this resistance. And this is where it gets tricky, people. This is only a couple of pennies over the number. But the problem is that it's a little sloppy now. Let's wait and see if the five minutes sets up. Also the time of the day. So this probably is going to look like this is gonna go and then push up one more time and then it might set up on a 15 minute chart or a five, which it has in here. For, to do a one minute trade, I'm not saying that this is late, it really should have held more here. I think it's gonna push back one more time, so I didn't call that there in the one. But this very well could set up on the 15 minute chart or the five minute chart later this morning because the stock really did fall off today. And then maybe it goes to 40, 50 as a late morning trade. Here it is gonna go over that number. Here, don't do it. Don't do it here. No. Nope. Oh, that kind of stinks that we didn't see this. So not one person saw this, really? Not one single person. And I didn't just call this one minute in here and I told you why. Not one single person. It's really weird. I don't know. I don't think it had scheduled earnings. I think they came out here. This is doing exactly what I just said. So no one should be in it. I didn't call it. I said if it goes over 41, it's not going to break away right here, but it still probably works in the afternoon or late morning. And here it is. It's going to go over 41 again. Journey Woman was on your list. I didn't see it. And I know sometimes you write it in the room. I probably missed it because we got booted. If we ever get booted again and you write stuff, rewrite it because I might not see it. Like I rewrote the ratings this morning then after we got booted. I, I, you know, I didn't see it. 41.25. Yep, see, look, this is doing exactly what I said. Here, let's just go over it. Let's go over everything. We're not trading today. There's nothing to do here. Let's go over Twitter first. Actually, Twitter is working. So some of you scalped it. If you had shorted this in here, it wasn't what I would say is a big stop for a normal stop, but for Twitter with a target at 1650, it would be even less than an R. And I don't think it's worth doing. And you would have been, you would have been actually down here. This did break. Some of you, I think, said that you did scalp it. If you did, you made 20 cents. So you did, again, you didn't even make one R. And this had pushed back in here again. Now it's trying to go. Still, is this going to go anywhere today? I don't necessarily know if it does make a big move today. This was an earnings gap. It was a valid gap to rate. It didn't rate that good. But I thought it would work as a late trade. Actually, it did hold very easily and quickly in the morning. But it took a while to go. First target's here, 1650. It's almost there, basically. But do you see how this is? Dropped, broke, pushed back. Dropped, broke, pushed back. You're not going to get a big move in the stock today. I said it's a better swing trade. In fact, you could enter this today as a swing trade now, today. Actually, you could enter Twitter as a swing trade. Ever since this happened here, and I forget the reason, was this earnings? Was this earnings in the news? One of these ones in here was that the, it was a, it was a, some kind of gap that the stock was going to get bought or something, and then it didn't get bought. Quickly, somebody tell me. This was back in October, because I remember somebody... Somebody, a very wealthy man, he actually emailed me that he bought the stock in here. And I said, oh, my Lanta, that was nuts. Why? It gapped down. And didn't we do this? Did we do it? Did we do this one in here? Does anyone remember? Because I remember, I remember talking about it. I remember, I'll have to go back. Anyways, then, and then I remember the man bought the stock in here. He bought more in here. And then I think he bought more in here when it gapped down again. I said, oh, my goodness. And then the man never did my class. But anyways... Look at, he's, his price in here is way above where it's at today. So I don't know if he killed it or not. It's interesting. I should almost email him. He'll probably buy more today, but it's lower. So the market is moving, but very low volume. And then we have the Cree, which flipped. Flipped, bounce off 26. I said, if this breaks 26, boom, it's good. It'll drop, go 25, 50, never did it. Never did it, actually bounced off this area in here. And really isn't going to go anywhere higher today or anywhere lower. See how it bounced off that area? 
it's too bad. I think this would have worked a lot better if it had been an earnings gap. It would have had more volume, more momentum, more push, and it would have had no problem breaking $26, but it but it didn't. It didn't do it. KO is a miss for all of us here because no one saw the gap except, I guess, Journey Woman, and I didn't see that she wrote it in the room because we got booted. Journey Woman, did you rate this gap? If you rated the gap, what did it rate? Would you have done it? Verizon was going to buy Twitter. I knew it was something like that. Journey Woman, did you rank KO? If you're the only one that saw it, did you rate it? C950 note. It was on your list. I don't see your rating. I don't see your rating. I just see you wrote it was on my list. Forty one. Where was this this morning? At what time? 9.15. At 9.15, it was at 41.60. Is that what you're trying to say here? Are you trying to say that this, because this was here, then you got off of it or you didn't rate it? Is that what you were saying? Hmm. Well, anyways, this did end up working. And, it, and, and I didn't call a second trade in it because it didn't set up right. Let's just go over it. So sometimes things happen and we don't get them. That is extremely rare. But that happened here in this today. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure if it would have rated great. But anyways, this dropped and broke and had a hard fall. Everybody would have been out in here and here. You would have never got this last move. Not with this big bar in here. Then I said this should hold a resistance here. It didn't do it. It went slightly over it. And then this is where it gets tricky. You say, well, should I give it a couple pennies more? Should I give it a little bit more? Should I give it a little bit more? And then you just keep giving it more and more. And then, then all of a sudden you realize it's not working and you're shorting something that's making higher highs here in the one minute chart very late after 10 o'clock or close to 10. And so then you say, well, where does my stop belong? And then, then you just keep giving it more, more give and it just doesn't make any sense and you're down and you're waiting for it to go and you're down. So you just wait for it to set up on a higher time frame. If you really like it and you believe it's going to go to a bigger number, which I'm not sure it will today, I'm not sure it will. This was the first target, 40, 50 is the next one. Actually, if it breaks the low, it probably goes to $40. But if you're going to be patient, then you just wait and wait for it to set up on a bigger time frame. And see here, when you do a late trade in the one minute chart, it's got to set up right. We don't really do these that often. We do them early. And I said, don't do this if it doesn't set up right. And it still hasn't. It's still pushing back. This is short covering here, though. It's not really buying. See, look, this hasn't done anything here yet. But does anyone want to go over anything from this morning? I don't think there's anything wrong with the fact that we didn't do anything today. No one should be sweating a bullet. Um, in fact, you should be happy that I kept you out of tr trouble. Twitter did go work on somebody who scalped it, and that's fine. It's, it's still going. Just wasn't a big trade. Pre was the watch, but didn't go anywhere. Bounced. RBT, IRIBT. Wow, very hard in here. Did have one move, but very hard. I would have never done that. And this flipped. So unfortunately, we didn't get it. Journey Woman tried to give it to us, but we got booted out of Hotcom. Batman, who are you? I don't even know who you are. I don't know who you are, Batman. Who is Batman? Oh, Justin, just call or email me later. Justin, were you here yesterday? I know you did the class a long, long time ago, and you're back. How are you doing since you're back? Have you been doing anything at all? You've only been back a week. QCOM long? All right. Justin, have you done anything? You can't talk at work. Oh, all right. Um, QCOM, let's see. Have you done any trades since you've been back, Batman? Yes or no? I think you've only been back since Monday. Uh, what do you want to go over with QCOM? You, you want to go long this? You didn't just ask me that, did you? I, John? You want to go long this? You, you want to go long this stock? Why? 
Okay, everyone pay attention. I, John, just made a huge amount of money in Netflix, which he told me this morning. Some of you heard the conversation. He is in it, and it's a good trade, and he did my call in it, and it's working. Now, what, now you want to go long this? You're going to blow away all the money you just went, made on Netflix if you go long this. And you've done the class, and you've been doing well, and I have no idea now why you asked me that you want to go long this. I have no words for you now. You think it will do the same thing? The same thing as what? Sue is ready for me to start yelling. He's laughing because he's prepping for me to scream at you. <laughs> you think this is going <laughs> to... Philip's laughing because he's reading the comments. <laughs> this, and it's quite amusing here if you actually read everything so no one ever sees. It is. Tar <laughs> <laughs> Target. All right, I'll look at this. You think that QCon is going to do the same thing as Target, which I haven't looked at here for a while, but let's look at it. Oh, my Lanta. You think that QCOM is going to do this. Are you long target? This is like trader confessional now. Here, we didn't, we didn't do anything today, and I think that was fine. It's a shame we didn't get KO, but I'm going to teach you something here. Because I, John, just wrote in the room this morning, he made $3,600 in Netflix. He added more to the position today. Now he wants to go long QCOM, which is ridiculous, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But... Rumi said, scream, scream, Melissa. <laughs> no, I'm trying to help I, John, keep the money he just made in Netflix. If you are a long target right here, you didn't do this in my call. If you're long and you're up money, I would get out of this today. Are you in this long and are you up money? I'm talking about target right now. Let's go first things first. You want to... You're, you should not be in this long, nor QCOM. Am I reading your writings right? Is that, was that what he's saying? You're, you're, in, you're in options in this and target long? Why? Why? He's open someone's going to buy a house. Is there something that you don't know about this that I should know? This stock gap down here, fell off a planet, dropped, broke. Rallying up now. If you're in this stock long and you're up money, then I would get out of it with profit. And if you're not in QCon long, then I wouldn't take it. And I'll go back to show why. This stock is not a long. Why? Does anyone want to answer me? Why, why, why? Somebody tell me quickly. Here, I'm going to just hold on one second. Someone tell me very, very quickly why.